Yo, what's up, dudes? Got another off-meta build. Trying to utilize that rune word I just made. Uh, if you saw that video. And I know the most go-to thing for that rune word is a kicks in. You know, uh, using kicks really rapidly, stacking some crushing blow, and then proccing tons of frozen orbs. And I think that's excellent. And I would love to make that build. And I sort of have with Voice of Reason already, you know. But I would definitely like to make it with Rift with that character, but I decided to try something different first. I wanted to see if I could synergize the Frozen Orb level 21 on attack um, on a Sorceress. And, you know, there isn't too much synergy for Frozen Orb. If you look at it, it only gets 2% Ice Bolt synergy per level, and that's it. There are no other synergies. So, and that's actually kind of a good thing, though, because that what that means is that you know, Frozen Orb doesn't necessarily need lots of synergy for it to actually be effective, at, um, you know, for other characters even. So that's kind of a good thing, but I decided to see if I could beef it up a little bit with the Sorceress. She does have Cold Mastery, of course, as well, where, you know, once we have our gear swapped over, I think we'll be at negative 90 um, with the shield that we're using. It, you'll probably recognize the shield from my Frozen Death Knight. But anyway, right now... I'm also using the Snow Clash, so I can get a, a Chilling Armor level 20 with my skills for free. Um, so if I switch over to this, I have a Wand plus 40 Chilling Armor. Nightwings is two skills with the Cold Skill damage. Three skills for Cold here. Spirit, Arcane's Valor. Two skills for the Chilling Armor on this here. We have an Annie, and we do have some Skillers. Here's a really nice one. 12% faster hit recovery Cold Skills. And here's another nice one, uh... 12% faster hit recovery, 126 attack rating. Uh, small charms are mana, and then I've got some more hit recovery so I can meet, reach the break points. So anyway, check this out. Level 20 chilling armor. I did put 20 points into frozen armor as well, just to try it out, kind of. Um, I know this is kind of a mishmash of things, but I uh, did max energy shield and its synergy, 9 points into warmth with some fire mastery. So, and before I get going on that, just want to show and tell something. Why can't this rare repair its charges. See how it rolled repairs durability and level 3 exploding arrow charges? How nice would that be if you could slap that on a character and then have recharging charges uh, of exploding arrow? That would be really cool. Dear D2R Dev, where are you at, bro? Um, and then the other thing is I, I did I did terrorized counters with this character and she dropped an ethereal executioner's justice and the roll was kind of a mid-roll on the enhanced damage. It only rolled 261. 290 is the max. But look at that. 324 to 671 damage on a glorious axe with 50% chance to cast level 6 decrep when you kill an enemy. 30% attack speed minus 33 to target defense. Uh, plus 25% chance of crushing blow. Ethereal. Pretty sweet. Definitely should just make like a killer fury druid or something with that. Just And just slap that on. It'll look cool on him too. You know? Um, actually, though, as well, uh, Sorceress has high attack frames with axes, two-handed axes. So, but, but I'd have to put a Zod in this. <laughs> you know, so, worth it? Yeah, I think so. Why not, why not, right? So, anyway, let's get back to the build. Um, so, level 20, chilling armor. All right, let's do it. And then we can slap on... Uh, our memory for a level 34, 35 energy shield absorbs 90%. Sure. And then we can, um, we'll have a beast here so we can turn into a bear. High Lords. We're going to switch the Arcanes. Um, oh, let me get Demon Limb going too, of course. We need the attack rating. So we'll get, uh, Treachery for the attack speed and the Fade Brock. That's nice. And a little Venom on Strike. Metamorphosis for more attack speed and damage reduction. And dual Raven Frost for the attack uh, uh, rating, you know, and dexterity. Mana is good because we're using Energy Shield. Uh, we're using Drax for some sustain. Goblin Toes. All right. Beast. And then Rift with my faceted shield on swap or on main, you know. So let's go to like. Let's see. Go down here. 
in the sewers. All right. So we've got fanaticism. We've got Mark of the Bear. Our attack frames. We have a 45% attack speed on the treachery and 20 on the high lords. And then these are undead, but we do have life tap, which is nice, you know? Um, I know our run walk isn't that great, but what I like to do is just kind of switch over to sorceress. Oh, I see our chilling armor. Ooh, blizzard just proc. Look at that. That's nice. I really wish the snow clash had a little bit higher chance to proc that blizzard. It would just, it would make it really good then, you know? It would be really desirable. Same goes for the tea gods, you know, th uh, thunder gods vigor. It'd be nice if that fist of heavens proc was a little higher chance. But, but that was cool. It was cool that that went off, you know? I really like that. So our chance to hit in here says 92%, so not too bad. I, The problem with this character is that I'm having a hard time hitting stuff. And even though the Rift has level 21 Frozen Orb on attack, it still seems like, unfortunately, attack rating is kind of necessary. There's the Blizzard again. I noticed that um, archers tend to proc when struck things a lot more efficiently than even melee attackers. It's kind of weird, you know? It must just be that because you're like moving towards them, you have no defense and they just kind of all hit you at once. All right, level two. Bear. There we go, life tapped him. Our mana shield seems to be sustaining decently well in these kind of smaller packs of enemies, you know? That's So that's kind of good. And the Frozen Orb, I don't know if you noticed, but when it goes off, it, it does good damage. It, it really does. We're at... We have minus 90, I believe, to enemy cold res. Let's see. Yeah, minus 90 and 40 and 15% to cold skill damage. So, not too bad, you know? There we go. Look at that. Just smack that dude. The Frozen Orb came out. He died. Like... So that's really nice. I wish you could just stand and attack like this, and then it would just come off. You know? But you have to actually be close to the enemy. And I know it says on attack, so you'd think it would actually work like on attack, but it doesn't. Um, it seems like you still have to pretty much have a chance to be connecting to them, you know? And that, and I don't know how it's how the calculations all work out for that. But I think there's something fishy going on with on attack. It seems like... It just seems like it needs attack rating still somehow. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But, like, I've noticed that in some higher level areas, when my chance to hit is, like, in the 80s, it just doesn't go off as often. And I don't know what that's about exactly, you know? There we go. That was cool. So, this... This, this build would be way cool if just that on attack was just happening a lot more often I, it would it would be even better I, that's why i'm saying is like i'm level 89 with the sorceress i started her as just a blizzard sorceress on like a ladder trying to magic find and i got so bored <laughs> i just didn't like i just didn't like the play style of it so i've i've used this character as for some off meta builds on the channel um trying to utilize cold damage and you know like all the shields and everything and just trying weird stuff with this character so so this is a weird one for sure bear rift sorceress yikes don't don't get rid of my energy shield there we go the confuse came in handy there that was that was huge from the mercenary so now i am faded and my physical damage reduction is 35 percent because i have metamorphosis and fade going Mercenary also has Fade, level 15 Fanaticism Aura on her Faith, and Delirium. The Delirium is really helping with crowd control with that Confuse. It's pretty sweet. Enemies can, like, um, curse each other and stuff, too, when they're confused. You know, it's kind of nice. So you, some, once in a while, you'll get, like, an enemy amp damaging, like, their, each other and stuff after they've been confused, which is kind of cool. There's that Blizzard going off again. See that? It actually killed those guys. So that's a level 18 blizzard with, um, check it out. Blizzard gets synergy from Ice Bolt, which we maxed. So it does get synergy, you know? So this this level 18 blizzard when struck on here is synergized partially 
and we have negative 90 to enemy cold resistance and plus 15% from the shield to cold skill damage. So that's actually really nice, you know? That blizzard when struck is really nice. There it is again. You can see our chilling armor too is shooting off as well. Okay, we are getting hurt by poison because energy shield doesn't help with that. Let's see, let me just use a few potions there. Any mana potions? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a good one. That was a nice one. Did you see that? That that did really good. That that frozen orb was like perfectly placed. Um so yeah, I, I actually really like that. And I am excited to try the rift on builds that'll be will have like lightning fast attacks frames and stuff, you know? This is is like this is as fast as I could get this, you know, for like with also trying to boost the cold damage and stuff. Like like look. Here here's my here's my attack speed. Right? Check it out. That's it. And then in human form, here it is. It's like about the same <laughs> in human form, it looks like. So there's human form. I could just do that too, you know. So this is online too, remember? This is online character. Let's turn into a bear. <laughs> Get a little bit tankier. Here we go. Poison's only 20% for the poison res. And an antidote potion drops. Hallelujah. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. See, when it all like when it when everything just procs, you're just it's like we're we're good, you know? I really like that. And I really wish the I still repeat I'm repeating myself here. I really wish the on attack like this actually just worked on attack. Like I could just stand there and just attack the air and it would just fly out frozen orbs. That would be kind of cool. Um but maybe that would be too OP then, you know, but I don't know. There we go. Get some life tap going. Where's my mercenary? <laughs> Is she in the middle of all? Oh, she's in the middle of it all. Nice. I, we, <laughs> we were just like tanking everything. Another antidote potion is nice. Okay, and then I need mana potions because I just used some to keep my energy shield going. Um, don't really see any more. There's some. I can't carry anymore. There's more. Okay. Um, what's this gothic shield? Because you know, here's check out this gothic shield. Maybe this one will be something like that. Nope. <laughs> Alrighty. I think over here is probably gonna be the radiant guy. You know. Yeah. All right. Let's back up a little bit and then transform. And they're all confused thanks to the mercenary. Mercenary is doing a lot of work on this build. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Raidiment? Check out these frozen orbs in your face, bro. Yeah. And you dropped nine grand. Nine grand. Don't you wish you could just kill an undead monster and it would drop nine Gs? And you'd be like, well, I can pay off my car now. That'd be, that's nice. All right, so we just cleared out the sewers. Very impressive, right? <laughs> Good morning. Remember, we're online. It's off meta. Clear speed is not the goal. It's partial, a partial consideration, all right, for off meta weird builds. When you've played the game a lot, 
and you just want to try to make weird stuff work, that's actually not bad. All right, what, what, what we just did there. It's not spectacular, but it's, it's not bad, right? So, like, the fact that we're not just dying instantly, you know, is, is a good thing. Uh, before it runs out, let's see. Okay, so this chilling armor ran out. So let me just go over to frozen armor, and we will just recast just regular frozen armor, and we'll recast enchant. Because not having enough attack rating on a melee build is awful. It sucks. Okay, so let's see here. Where else can we go? Whoops. Didn't mean to go there. Let's see. Uh, why don't we just do the pit? You know, something that, something that we can handle. Okay. These guys are usually cold immune. See that? And we're just using human form there. Procking the, the frozen orbs. Mm. Bam. Cool. Hey, a Nephrim. You can make blood gloves with those. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Let's back up a little bit. There we go. Oh, now you're confused. Oh, and then you just got a frozen arm in the face with a bear. A bear hit you in the face. And a giant orb of ice shards hit you in the face as well. As if the claws of the bear are not sharp enough. I guess you could at least put some ice on that wound right away. We're actually doing we're actually being nice, if you think about it that way. Right? Uh there we go. And a town portal. Take that. Sharp X. Come here, Sharp X. Ooh. He, he just... Wow. Those multi-shots? Dude, did you see how much damage that did to my freaking mana shield? Yeah. That was... That was tough. Hey, a Grim Wand. Three to Poison Nova, three to Bone Spear, level four Confused Charges, two to Attract. No, man. Crazy how good those have to roll for them to be anything, right? Uh, I see the pit, so let's do that. This is going to sound weird, but whenever those guys do that little red of that, it sounds like they're saying turtle dove, like turtle dove. I don't know why, but I've always thought that. I've always heard the word turtle dove whenever those little devilkins say that. And then there's Rakanishu, of course. Are we hitting him? See, 84%. Did you see it? Like, it seems like the frozen orbs aren't flying out as much now. When we have only an... And when our chance to hit goes down. Which is like, I don't feel like that's how on attack should work, right? Here we go. It is kind of cool to be like a faded bear <laughs> with an ice shield floating around you and the energy shield on top. Like, it does look kind of cool, you know? Like what kind of monstrosity ghost type, you know, wraith bear thing are we? Alrighty. Here we go. Ooh. What's up, dude? There we go. Get that blizzard off there. Oh, it took them out pretty good, too. They have really low health now. Nice. Nice. So we are sitting at 50% crushing blow as well because we have... Um, 25 on the boots, 25 on the helmet. Don't know if I mentioned that earlier. One to barb, 10% faster cast, level 27 required. 
low level duelers. Is that good? I know you can probably get two to war cries, 10% faster cast at level 30, but I don't know. Let's check this jaw bone visor. No. Okay. Here we go. There we go. See, look, the Frozen Orb actually took out, like, a handful of those guys over there. That's cool. Yeah, I think I would just increase the chance of the, <laughs> the Frozen Orb going off a little bit, maybe. But we'll see. When I play it on a different character, I might... I might change my mind about that and just say, like, it's fine, you know? Because why would you need to do this with the Sorceress, really? Like, you wouldn't really need to, you know? It does seem like it should have a little cold skill damage or minus enemy cold res or something on it, though. You know, that would make it a lot better. It might, you know, because this thing does cost Helco Lem Gull. So it's not crazy expensive, but you can make mosaic for a gull. So it's like, I mean, Rift seems like it needs a little bit of a buff, you know, because of that. Hey, there's a Berserker Axe there. Did you see that? It's blue. King's Berserker Axe of Burning. I think I'll actually try to craft that as a Blood Axe. I don't know if any of you guys ever do that. Um, it's my one of my little side projects here. Crafting all kinds of weird stuff, you know? It is really satisfying when this frozen orb goes off and just travels through an entire group of guys. Chance of hitting here, 90%. So, not too bad. I thought, or wait, I thought it was less before. I don't know, maybe it's just on those enemies. There we go. Mercenary, once again, just completely crowd controlling everything with her delirium. Let's check the War Axe. It's rare. Fool's mod, but nothing else really too and crazy. Didn't have any enhanced damage. Wasn't ethereal. So we're in human form right now, just attacking. And it got, it's working out pretty good. Um, Sun Spirit could be a good base. Two to Solar Creeper, one Volcano, one Tornado. Come on. <laughs> like, I didn't get one Frozen Orb to go off right there. There we go. We got one right there. All right. Bear form for this little bit here. They're all confused. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Energy shield went down. Not good. Okay, let's get back in there. <laughs> I almost, like, die instantly when that happens, you know? That's how much work that's doing. So I just recast it at, like, a much lower level. Um, but that's okay. It should still be fine. Yes. Yes. See, when it all, everything starts procking, it's just, like, pure cold harmony happening. There we go. Yeah. A tyrant club. It's blue. One to mana after each kill. There you go. Little tornado action at the end there. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, wait. Mana potion. 
mana potion town. So like these axes though. Check it out. Uh, do I have? I do. Okay, so this and an ort rune and a junk jewel. All right, and you can do a blood axe. Let's try it out. Thirty percent increased attack speed, hundred sixty-three percent enhanced damage, grinding mod, so max damage based on character level, two hundred and six percent damage to undead, two hundred nine to attack rating. 298 attack rating to undead, 4% life still and 3, 13 to life. This is actually not bad for these. These are hard to roll. Like, it's hard to find a good one of these. Like a blood axe. Um, you can only roll axes as blood items, too. You could do winged axes, too, for throwing. Or two-handed axes, whatever. It just has to be an axe class. Um, level, re required level 70. So, look, the damage is 63 to 252. So, it's not awesome but it did roll that 200 percent damage to undead which is kind of cool so you know i uh you know you might think like dude that's not very good but if you're trying to make a inventory of blood items for a character which i am uh that's not bad actually so let me just put on this just to close out the video because the character looks really cool with with that on I think <laughs> so okay there she is bear rift sork source what do you think about that one you might think that it was a little lackluster because of its speed yes agree so I think Maybe there's a way I could make it work a little better, but I don't know. Like, I tried to increase my attack speed as much as I could. I had Treachery on. I had Mark of the Bear. I had level 15 Fanaticism. I had a High Lords, you know? So it's like I was hitting pretty close to as fast as I could probably get with that type of character. So, I don't know. Um, I'm eager to try it this rune word on some more characters though you know i think yeah just anything that's going to attack multiple times quickly will probably be pretty good actually especially with some of the stuff i have here like this night wings which is almost which is perfectly rolled but just one percent off on the facet that i had at the time and then this shield you know and the Snow Clash and these ra dual Raven Frosts all kind of work. These, those pieces all work pretty good together, I think. So, and then with the Rift on Kixin, Fury Druid, Zeal Paladin, Frenzy, Barbarian, that could all be pretty sweet. Um, I don't really know who else could do this, you know? I guess I could do the same thing um, with like an Amazon. <laughs> um, you know, exact same gear basically. I don't know. We'll see. All right, dudes. Thanks for checking out the video. Peace. Talk to you later. Bye.